guys welcome back to my channel i'm miss lauren lee 11 and today i'm going to be showing you how to cane row i know others call it corn row or braids but i call it cane row because that's what i was brought up knowing it as so i will be showing you how to cane row today and this is cane row for beginners so i'll be doing simple cane rows guys and this is an easy style that you can practice on so first i'm just going to jump straight into it i'm not going to assume that anyone can plait so i'm going to start from the very very basics i'm going to quickly show you how to plait guys because you need to know how to plait the cane row and then i'm going to show you how to do the cane rows and i'm just going to do the style and then you can look cute like me <laughs> so my hair is still straightened as you can see i thought it'd just be easier i'm going to wash my hair in a bit because it's been over a week as you can see it's starting to revert i did get wet in the rain yesterday but it's ready now for me to get my curls back. I, 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 I'm ready for me to get my curls back. But I thought whilst my hair is straight, it will be easier just to show you. When I usually plait my hair, my hair is usually stretched, i.e. either blow dried or just stretched. So I thought it'd be easy whilst my hair is straightened to show you. Okay, let me put this one to the side. And as I said, I'm gonna quickly show you first how to plait, and then I will show you how to do the cane row style. So I'm gonna make this as detailed as possible. It was requested by one of my lovely subscribers, and she was asking me basically to slow down how I do my cane rows, just because I was basically demonstrating a hairstyle which had cane rows, but I wasn't actually showing how to do the cane rows. I was just showing how to do the style. <laughs> I'm just gonna take a section. This is just for educational purposes, okay? This part that I'm showing you. So I'm gonna show you how to just plait. So anybody wanted to plait can do this. So if you don't actually just want a cane row, you can just plait. You're going to want to take three pieces. I was actually showing my son how to plait the other day, so I'm gonna try and explain it to you how I explained it to him. So you've got A, B, C. So the one in the middle is always going to be B. And when I plait, I usually have two strands in one hand and one in the other. Depending on whether you're left or right-handed, I usually have one in my right hand, two in my left. Okay, so I'm going to take A and I'm going to cross A over with B. So now they switch places. So the original B is now A. The original A is now B. Now I'm going to put C into the mix. So I'm going to cross C over into the middle. Now C has now turned to B. So let me just show you guys, it's just a crisscross. Okay, so it's like a weave. So let me just show you again. So A, B, C, take A, put it in the middle, C, put it in the middle. Okay, A, middle, B, middle. So let me show you again. So I'm gonna cross over my C now. And the way to know which one needs to be crossed over is because these two are already, these two here, they're already connected. So I won't then do that again, otherwise I'll end up with a twist. So I'm gonna cross the next one, which is here, so there you go. So that means I need to cross this one and bring it in, cross the one on the outside, bring it in, cross the one on the outside, bring it in, cross, bring it in, cross, bring it in, cross, bring it in, cross, bring it in. There's my plait. And now I'm gonna do the outwards plait. And the reason why I'm showing you this outwards plait is because that's what I use for my cane row. I don't plait inwards, I plait so the braid is sitting outside of the style. So now we're gonna go back to our three strands that we originally had. So I've got my three strands and instead of going over, crossing over and in, yes, you guys, you guessed it. I'm gonna bring the middle one out. So look, middle, bring it out. And I'm gonna tuck C in. So now with the middle one, I'm going to pull it out. I'm not crossing it in. Crossing it out, middle one 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 out. Okay, so this is the type of plait that I'm going to need for my cane row. So now we've got the basics out the way. For the cane rows now, you're gonna start with the same three strands. So you can either start it all together in this whole section and gain three strands. But when I'm doing this type of hairstyle, just because of the way I like my hair positioned, my plait positioned, I like to start from a small triangle and I'm gonna get my three sections from here. Okay, so one, two and three. And as I said, my left hand, because 
I'm right handed. My right hand is, I don't know what that's got to do with anything, but my right hand is holding the one section and my left hand is holding two. And we're gonna start with our three sections. So I've got the two, so it's gonna be quite close to the scalp. So how I started in the plait, I was lower down on the strands. Because I'm going to do a cane row and I need more control, I need my hands close to my scalp. One, two, three. I'm going to take the middle section, put my index finger through those two sections. And now my middle section is the piece on the end. Okay, I'm gonna do that again. Okay, so I've still got my three sections. So now I'm gonna take my index finger again, grab that section. Here's where it gets a little bit more tricky, but if you follow the method in the beginning, you'll be able to pick it up qu quickly, no pun intended. But what I am gonna do is start picking up here along the way. Each section that ends up on the outside, I'm gonna pick up some here along the way. Okay, so now I'm gonna pick up some here along the way. Pick up some here along the way. I don't really know how to explain it any better than that, guys. <laughs> I'm trying my hardest, but I'm hoping just watching my demonstration is pretty self-explanatory. It's not the best because I'm not trying to make it into a perfect style. This is just for demonstration purposes. Pick up here along the way and add it in. Okay, guys. So now I've shown you how to do, they call it a French braid. I just call it a cane row. <laughs> so now I'm going to show you how to do a cane row. This was one of the styles my mom used to do on my hair. I want to say styles, one of the plaits that I used to have frequently as a child. I thought it was cute back then because I couldn't have a fringe. So having this piece of hair cane row down there, I felt like, I felt fancy. I'm going to do it quite big, guys, just to show you. Right, so you're going to want to part your hair like so. And you can even just wear these two cane rows at the front and then just have your hair in a bun at the back. Now you've got your section of hair. And how I showed you to do the plait initially, you want to take three sections. So no, you're not going to take three sections like that because then it will just be a plait. You're going to start in a smaller section at the top. So I usually part this bit just to section it off. And then you're going to grab three parts from that. Okay, so I've got my A, B and C. I'm going to put my finger underneath B and over A. And I'm going to bring A to the middle. So just like what I did when I showed you on this side, I'm just going to be picking up hair to join in as I go along. Um, you will know how much hair you need to pick up. It's just how much feels comfortable to you guys. So I like to pick up from either side, so the front, and now I'm picking up from the back. As I plait along, now I'm gonna pick up from the front again. And the reason why I like doing that is because I wanna make sure that it looks super neat and I have all my strands in. So even like little parts of my edges, don't overdo it guys and tighten your edges because then you won't have any edges left. But I do like to put long parts of my edges in. that's on the top and you hold it and push the other piece through on top so that would be your middle section now this your middle section always has to land on top that's what I've got so far so now the plait that I showed you the outward plait you're just going to carry on doing that so you've got your A, B, C, or however you like to say, this side could be your A, this side could be your A, but the middle is always going to be B, obviously. Push one side under, now it's in the middle. Now you're going to take the middle, push it to the other side. So the other side is in the middle. You're going to start again. Push to the middle, pull to the end, okay? How my mum came rode my hair, she would do it like this, basically. So what happens is, it's the tension. It creates tension on the plait, and therefore the plait will end up curling because it's, I suppose, a tight plait. So I do it in a different method. If I want my plaits to look more stretched and not curled, I do it like this. 
so my plaits are a bit more loose but sometimes it doesn't always get the strands off here so I mean whichever way you prefer I've seen that a lot of people use I think it's like a pomade to basically make the plait neater especially when you're doing cane row on my hair not so much on my daughter's hair I like her hair to look sleek pomade I don't know what else to call it pomade. the words escaped me today okay so now I'm at the end I'm just going to show you how my mum plaits them so like this And as I said, this gives it like a curl. So as you can see, look, there you go. It has a curl. But I'm gonna quickly take that out and show you how it looks when I do it, how loose the plait would look. So I'm just gonna... Funny enough, it's harder to do small plaits with my hair straightened. As you can see, I've got more strands of hair sticking out, so it's not as neat. There you go, look at that. You don't wanna do that. But as you can see, it doesn't curl. was about <clears throat> so guys that is it for this video it was a quick one i hope you enjoyed it if you have any more questions or you want me to show you anything else uh, i have been asked to show how i trim my hair i have recently trimmed my hair unfortunately so i'm gonna have to wait for a few weeks maybe before i can get back to doing that video but i will be doing it so i will be showing you guys how i personally trim my hair when i trim my hair why i trim my hair <laughs> But anyway, guys, as I said, but that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.